What is diffraction? The simplest way to explain this behavior is like this. The smaller your aperture gets, the blurrier your intended subject will become. That's the reason most lenses have what's called a sweet spot, an aperture somewhere between a lens's widest and narrowest. This is where the sweet spot is, largely depending on the construction and configuration of the lens, keeping in mind that not all lenses are created the same way. As most of you know, light behaves by spreading out as it travels. So when it enters into your lens and hits your aperture blades, it immediately begins to diffract or spread in a cone pattern, becoming more and more soft as the different wavelengths of light interfere with each other. In this example, you can easily see how white the light is in the center. But the further you move toward the edges of the image, the light is gradually spreading apart, revealing its RGB components. Looking at a lens with a wide aperture, you can see that the light is free to pass the aperture blades easily, making the light less likely to begin its spreading process before it hits your camera sensor. As a result, you vastly reduce any diffraction and get a sharper image. A lens's performance varies not only from camera to camera, but even from lens to lens. Depending on manufacturing tolerances, even lenses built the same day by the same company can have different degrees of diffraction. While taking architecture and landscape photographs, you might say to yourself, just to be safe, I'm going to maximize the level of detail and stop my aperture all the way. But while you will create a larger depth of field, you will also create more and more diffraction and ultimately make your image softer than if you had only stopped down to an F8. Soft images will always be the bane of every photographer, but it's also easy to avoid by finding your lens's sweet spot. Once you know where your lens performs is best, you can be sure you are going to take the best shots you ever have. So, hope you learned something, and if you did, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and a sub if you loved it. Thanks again for watching.